Alrighty guys, how's it going? Colin here with Schmitty's Off-Road. We are joined by my dad here and his KRX 1000. So what we're gonna do today is we have an exhaust from RPM side-by-side. -side. They sent me their slip-on exhaust for the KRX 1000. We're gonna throw it on there, test it out. We're gonna do a little bit of a timed run, see if we pick up any time it's not going to be official. We don't have a drag gear or anything like that. We're just going to kind of go by the feel of the pants and see what happens. I know they claim two to three horsepower, so that's not really enough to tell, but who knows? We'll see. I know it's going to sound a little bit better. Hopefully it's not too loud, but we're going to keep the stock exhaust just in case it's too loud, but we'll see. And we'll show you guys that RPM exhaust. It's got some cool features to it. it makes it unique to RPM. And we'll go ahead and get this thing taken apart, get the new exhaust put on. So all you guys need to do to take these exhausts off, they're pretty simple, especially compared to some of the other ones out there. You'll have these two bolts, they're both 12 millimeters. You'll have to take these two out, and then there's the four of them on the front of the exhaust. And those four on the front of the exhaust, a little word of advice is to use some PB blaster. I think my dad said he put he put a little bit on like three days ago and then pretty much every day leading up to today. So three solid days of some PB blaster soaking on those bolts and they should come right off. We did a little bit of testing and some sound tests for you and then decided to do this. So the exhaust is a little hot right now. Might want to let it cool down a little bit before you do this, but um, overall pretty simple. You just got to take those two back brackets off so you can slide the exhaust forward and not too bad. This is the RPM slip-on exhaust. It's all stainless steel. You get all new bolts with it. The cool thing with this is it's internally baffled, which it actually acts as a spark arrestor. I don't know if it would be forestry approved, but there is some internal baffling in there. Um, it's not quite straight through, so it shouldn't be crazy loud, but you can see kind of the cones in there. So, super nice exhaust. Again, this is an RPM flip-on. If you guys are interested in looking at their products, it's rpmsidebyside.com. I think this exhaust is just under $400, so go ahead, get your guys one of these, throw it on your KRX, and let it rip. Here's a quick size comparison for you guys. Getting rid of the suitcase and putting that guy on there. So according to the website, the RPM exhaust is about 10 and a half pounds. I haven't weighed the stock one yet, but I believe it's 25 to 30 pounds. I'll flash up the actual weight here, but you can tell just by the size difference that this guy's gonna be a lot lighter. Not that it's gonna make a huge difference for the KRX, but it is nice to uh, shave a little weight where you can. So there it is, all installed. The last thing they recommend you do is to take a microfiber cloth and go ahead and wipe down all of the stainless, basically all the shiny stuff. If there's any fingerprints left on there and you get it real hot, you can actually burn in the oils from your hands and then you're gonna have little fingerprints all over it. So unless you're looking for a cheetah print exhaust, I would suggest wiping it down and get out there and let it go. So we'll clean it up a little bit and start it up for you guys.
sounds pretty good when you're outside of it, but I also have a helmet on, kind of dead in some of the noise. for a little trail ride and it it rings your ears a little bit we'll maybe see what my dad thinks but we might be gotten the stock exhaust and putting it back on but we will see that's a project for another day <laughs> all right guys that is a wrap on the rpm exhaust for the krx 1000 i talked with my dad on the way home from the ride area and we both kind of agreed it's just a hair too loud for our type of riding we do a lot of recreational riding. Um, some of it's pretty slow, so we like to kind of talk back and forth when we're in the cab. And you just can't really do that with this exhaust. It's just a little too loud. But if you're doing it more for a race application, it's definitely a free flowing exhaust. You might not pick up a ton of time, but again, we only have a clutch kit. We don't have a tune or anything on the, on the Kawasaki. I'm sure if you get that stuff really dialed in with a really free flowing exhaust, you're gonna be quite a bit faster than stock. So take that into consideration but again the quality is super nice i mean it's the welds were amazing everything was really well put together jason and rpm is super nice his customer service is second to none i mean i've i can message him any time of the day and he responds and he's on a lot of the facebook pages and if people bash his product he's right there telling them facts about how it's produced and the materials that go into it and he really he backs up his products which is nice because a lot of companies will do ripoffs of other people and then they don't back their stuff up so they're not really reputable if you guys want to check out rpm it's rpm side by side.com they've got stuff for kawasaki can am polaris they've got a lot of stuff for snowmobiles if you guys are into that but that's about all I got for you guys. I appreciate it if you hit that like and subscribe button. Drop a comment down below. It helps me get noticed by companies like RPM and hopefully it helps me to get, be able to work with companies like that. It's an awesome opportunity that RPM reached out to me and wanted me to test some of their products. And I like being able to do those install videos and give you guys some good information. So again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.